This is Amazon Choices number one bike. It's like the best selling bike right now. What's up athletes and entrepreneurs. In today's video, we're going to unbox, assemble the Yasudo, Yasudo bike, show you what it's like and kind of talk around like HIIT training. What, what is the value you get out of HIIT training and why it's so important to do cardiovascular training because it can just improve your life overall, right? With how you feel, how you behave and like your focus and energy throughout the day. I feel like any kind of HIIT training is really beneficial for you, even just 20 minutes a day. This is the Yosudo bike right here, as you can see. And just the fun fact, I do have the Sunny bike. This is Amazon's choice for like a nice $600 magnetic bike. It's pretty nice. We got extra clips and that's pretty much the only upgrade we did. This one right here is actually friction based. It is almost half the price. So it's a really good deal, especially if you're a beginner. Just trying to, you know, start working out and like bike a little bit and get some movement in. This is extremely good to get you started and it's, it's extremely cheap. So if you're like, hey, I'm gonna do some spin bike, start doing some more hit training and you don't end up liking it, you know that you paid a lot less than a $2,000 Peloton that will collect dust, right? Is your Peloton collecting dust? Yeah. <laughs> Let's begin the unboxing. Right. Seat. Some holder. Yeah. Oh, I forgot how much the styrofoam. It's got a little computer of stats that you can show. So this bike is $300. That bike was $600. There's a $60 coupon, add tax. It was about 304 exactly. Here's the photo. So we laid out all the parts here. Now we gotta assemble it on this. So to be exact, this is the L007A model. I know there's some videos from Tail Happy TV and Learn with Travis that talk about the L001A model and the L007 model. So just keep in mind, I'll actually link their videos below because they have some really good content on this bike as well. Here. We should put this on a flat surface. Now it won't move, right? Go, hold your side in. All right, let's do the back. Yeah, right here. And then the wrench, right? Do you want to see what's next? Yeah. Pedals. That's the pedals? Yeah. All right, bring them in. What are you waiting for? Plug into here. Where's the water bottle go? Assembly wise, that took us what, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. It wasn't bad, but ideally, you know, if you're getting a Peloton, they have white glove service and they're gonna bring it here and set it up for you. Um, and this is what it looks like now. As you can see, the bike is all set up. We had to do, yo. Trying to make videos here. Now it's set up, as you can see, it comes with cage pedals for regular size shoes. Obviously, if you have like spin bike shoes, you need to get new pedals. You can actually buy those, I'll link those below. Um, we set up the base mounts right here. You set those up, you put in the seat. It's got a nice big seat, pretty cushiony, so you don't get that sore butt. It's still, you still might get it, right? It's, it's adjustable forward and back, also adjustable right here. You can slide it forward and back only just a tad bit. You can also take the seat up and down. I don't think it's as adjustable as some of the other bikes. So just keep in mind if you're really, really tall, really, really short, and also make sure that the max weight limit matches what your weight is. But overall, this is kind of like the, it should fit most people type of bike. And then over here we have the resistance right there. It's a decent, you know, plastic resistance, not bad. But what I don't like about this bike is that it's friction based. So when you spin on it, it's probably gonna be louder. The sunny one, which was actually double the price, is magnetic based. So it's gonna be smooth, quiet, and it's probably gonna last a little bit longer. But they are nice enough to give you a second one, so just keep in mind to keep these tools because you might have to replace this after some use. But for $300, this is a dang good bike. You have a little computer here. You can go ahead and turn it on. There we go, it's on now. And you've got your time, distance, calories, rates per minute, your speed. So it's nice to have that on the screen. And then you have a little phone holder here. I think it holds 
This is the iPhone mini. So it would hold up a Pro Max on this. And then if you have an iPad, it can go horizontal. But it looks like it might not fit the biggest iPads, the 12.9 inch. Now let's see, this is the iPad 11 inch. What you need to do is tilt that thing up, slide your iPad 11 inch in, and then you can get the thing over it. So it barely fits an iPad 11 inch. If you have anything bigger, like the 12.9, that is not going to fit. I guess I can slide it in. Boom, there we go, we can slide it in there. So it fits the iPad 11 inch, and this is the kind of the view you'll have from the Peloton app, but any other smaller phone than that will work as well. It's got these little ridges right here that will help support your device. And there's a little cheap plastic right here. The handlebars are decent. They have a little bit of a foam grip, which is nice. It is adjustable, so you can take the handlebars up and down. The handlebars are kind of weird in this shape, but you know, I think it works. It's $300. It's kind of, I don't like this whole cable thing, but it's, this is $300, okay? You gotta come at this uh, a super cheap bike. It's also portable too. You can come right here, it's got wheels. You want to lift it up and then you can move it. How are the wheels feel? Yeah, usually you want to be on this side, but that works. So yeah, look at that portability. If you want to put it in your closet. Wheels are pretty solid. Wheels are solid, good quality wheels. Yeah, and then you can just plant it down and you're good to go. If you get the Peloton bike, that's $40 a month just for the subscription. Eight months of a Peloton subscription, just a subscription, not even just the bike, will have paid for this bike in itself. So if you're still new to spin, I highly recommend starting with something extremely cheap and you can get the Peloton Digital, which will allow you to ride this bike and you can place your iPad right here. You won't get all the metrics that you would on a regular Peloton bike, but if you're someone who's new and not as into it yet it's a great place to start you can buy like the wahoo tracker to get cadence on the bike but you won't get resistance and you won't get power output but for someone who's not super serious about it this is a great starter bike if you're like semi-serious i think the sunny bike is another good alternative six hundred dollars and also check out learn with travis and tail happy tv he also has some really good videos on just like do-it-yourself peloton hack bikes so this is what i would call a frugal fitness device because it's at home you can use it it's super easy to use there's a little bit more setup than a peloton because it's not like all in one and you have to put your phone up there if you have like bad weather in your place or there's just something going on this is going to minimize any kind of external factors stopping you from working out so this is great you just hop on this for 20 minutes try to do a hit workout on the peloton app and boom it's going to optimize your day and optimize your health and i would highly recommend just getting one of these bikes one of these cheap do-it-yourself bikes over getting like an echelon or a nordic track one of those other like cheaper style Peloton bikes with their own subscriptions because from the subscription price, it's pretty much the same price as a Peloton. But with Peloton, you get the best teachers, you get the best production value, and you still get to use the app. It's only $12.99, $13 a month for the digital subscription on your phone and your iPad and you can use it anywhere if you're traveling and they have spin mics at your hotel you can put your iPad on there so it's really valuable and I just think Peloton has the best classes out of everyone else and it's just not even worth buying one of those other bikes that's kind of trying to copy Peloton I I know Learn with Travis mentioned that Echelon bike was pretty buggy in the app. Um, just stick with like having your own device and using the Peloton app. And then you also have the option to use like Apple Fitness Plus. If you have an Equinox membership, you can take Equinox Plus classes, right? So you have the option to switch between those three, right? I highly recommend you just stick with those apps, right? Those are going to be the highest production value. Apple Fitness Plus is a little cheaper and you'll get less metrics, but this, it actually is made for your own do-it-yourself bike. This is Amazon Choices number one bike. It's like the best-selling bike right now. So there's a reason people are buying it. I would say aim for like using this for one to two years at the most. That'll be like, what, $20 a month that you're just paying for the bike. Let's be honest, your interests are gonna change after two years and you might not wanna spin after that. So but that's why I highly recommend starting as cheap as possible. When it comes in terms of the drivetrain, we'll get on this and test it out. And if you look at this delivery time, this is Amazon Prime, ships in literally like two days. You can get it so fast. If you're looking at it like a Peloton or a slow cycle bike, it might take like two to four weeks and maybe even months. Now, when it comes to the stability of the bike, it's pretty firm on the ground, right? You have the little adjusters that you can adjust to keep it on the floor. If you do have an instable ground, but I would say it's pretty strong. It's sitting on obviously two different levels at this moment. What should I emphasize? Just say what you have on the computer at any time. So. Oh yeah, yeah, we already did. So, obviously this one has a computer whereas the other one doesn't. So you get time, distance, speed. So that's unique to this bike that my $600 bike does not have and the Peloton bike will have. You think I'm belittling the bike? Ah, well, <laughs> I don't think so. This is such a good bike that it is. send me one as well. Oh, you want a bike as well? You're a sellout is what you're saying. Okay. Well, on this channel, Insurman Shares, we are honest all the time. Now we're going to test and ride the bike. I know you should be wearing shoes, but rules are made to be broken. Okay, maybe I should wear sandals. Don't do this at home, kids. All right. 
So this is a low resistance, it's easy, it's already telling me my RPMs. It's not bad. Oh yeah, when you get to a higher resistance, oh, oh yeah, it's doing a little bit of like up, down. Yeah, you can kind of feel it. If you, you can, it's create, it's like doing almost like a wavy motion. This is why I don't like friction. But honestly, if you're, you're not heavy like me and you're not trying to do something super intense, you don't need that resistance. And this is the sound here, let's put it up. I don't know, it's got some weird clicking noise as well. Maybe that's because I didn't buckle it in. From what it feels like, see it's got real no momentum here. If I'm biking and then I stop, it almost stops instantly. Whereas like a heavier flywheel, like I know for that bike on the sunny bike, because it's magnetic and it's heavier, as soon as I stop, it still has some momentum, like it's still going. This one is pretty light, so it just kind of stops rather quick. But like I said, this is a great beginner bike. I think for me, I'm a little more advanced. I'm not gonna toot my own horn. <laughs> but as someone who doesn't do spin classes, maybe you're like, just wanna start doing spin, just start doing Peloton. I'm already out of breath. I haven't <laughs> done this in a while. If you're starting out and you're beginning, you just wanna get a little more exercise and you're trying to build the habit, having this in your home can be extremely helpful. And I would just estimate, you know, keep this for one to two years, right? You don't wanna have this longer than that. I feel like more than likely, it's probably not gonna last very long. And also you'll wanna upgrade. So you can sell it used, and I bet you can get some of your money back. Do you wanna ride it and see what you think? I don't have a shoe. I know, is it too tall? No, actually it's not bad, Sherby. Really, it's not bad? Yeah, the, the first, First time sitting on it, it's not bad. Yeah? Because I, I know if the bike is bad, I feel it immediately. You are three years of spin biking. Oh my god. You think it's good? I think I think it's pretty decent shape. Decent shape. Yeah. Well, how would you rate the bike just riding it from the form factor and the feel and all that? I think it's not bad. Yeah. I wasn't expecting this for this price. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. The seat is very comfortable. Wow. The monitor is sharp and right in your face, whereas the other one at the gym. What gym do you go to? LA Fitness. And the gym one is not as good? No, not at all, not at all. They're always, their seat, seating is not good, the handles are not good. So it's got soft handles and a nice seat? Yeah, foamy, mm -hmm. decent foams. It's not too soft, it's not too hard, so it's good. I think it's good. <laughs> I think it's good. You approved for $300? Uh, I think so, yeah. All right. Surprise. That's good. I wasn't expecting it. You're saying that sound is bad, but I kind of like it. You like it? Probably because I'm used to it. Oh, they have it at LA Fitness, I yeah. bet. Why do you that, like it? That sound gives you an idea that you're working extremely hard, <laughs> especially when you move it to eight or nine. Really? Yeah. You need something to push you. That sounds tells you that you're working with your heart. You can buy Comfort. six of these bikes for one Peloton. Yeah, no, I think it's worth a lot. I think it's worth much yeah. You can just join the Peloton on the website or- Or Apple Fitness Apple Plus. Fitness Plus and just use this bike. That's what yeah. I did. That's yeah. what I'm gonna do. All right. So actually we're gonna start a spin studio. Now that we have all these bikes, you can come over and take some spin classes. How do you feel about that? Two spin bikes. Come work out at the Shriven Gym. We can get a TV, we can cast a little class right there and do a spin class. Who wants to join me in a little Apple Fitness Plus or Peloton spin class right here? Oh my God.